Well, hi, for US Chess, I'm Steve Lopez with another video in a series on how to use ChessBase 11, the chess database software. In this video, I'll start at the beginning, making the assumption you've not used ChessBase 11 before, you're not sure what it actually does or what it is. What ChessBase is, at its bare bones, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it, but, but when you get to the the bedrock basics of this, it is a library of games on your computer, a library of chess games that you can go through. You can search that database six ways to Sunday to pull up just the information that you want to help you in your chess studies. ChessBase 11 comes with a database of nearly four and a half million games. Now there's actually two different databases. There's the big database and the mega database. Now I have a whole bunch of databases here. You won't see all these when you launch ChessBase for the first time. Some of these are databases that I've purchased. Some of these are databases I've created. But what you'll get with ChessBase, depending on which version you purchase, is either the big database or the mega database. They have the exact same number of games. The difference is that the mega database has about 50,000 games that are annotated. They have notes of some kind, variations, text, symbolic commentary. The way you can tell a game is annotated, by the way, is over in this column in the game list down here at the bottom. You'll see a column that says VCS. That means variations, commentary, or symbolic notation. And if you look here, here's a game that has variations, text, and symbols, all three. They kind of hit for the cycle right here with this game. That's an annotated game. Someone has added notes to the game. The Mega Database has about 50,000 games that are annotated. Those 50,000 games do appear in the big database, however the annotations have been stripped out. You'll see nothing in the VCS column. The basic package of ChessBase contains the big database, more advanced packages that you can purchase contain the mega database, mega da database is also available separately. How do you do a very basic search in ChessBase? Well, we're going to show you that right now. Right click on the database you wish, wish to search. I'm going to search the mega database. We click search and it brings up something called the search mask. You can see I've already done a couple searches here today. So you click reset, reset the search mask. Um, let's do a search for Magnus Carlsen since he's the new hotness right now. Everybody just loves Magnus. So we'll do a search for his games. The way you type in a name up here to do a player search, you have white and black uh, fields. Just pick one and type in Carlsen, capitalize the C, and put an M over here. Uh, it works just like a telephone book. Last name first, first name last. Uh, if you type in the first name here and the last name here, you'll get nothing. So make sure you do it right. Last name first, first name last, and capitalize the first letter of the first and last name. Click OK, and it will search the database and pull up the games. Now you'll notice something, um, something wrong immediately, and that is right here. If you click on the first game in the list, it's from 1993. Our man Magnus was three years old at that time. He is a chess prodigy, but I don't believe he was quite that prodigious. So we're seeing down here that there was a fellow named Morton Carlson playing at that time. So we need to refine our search to get just what we want. You will sometimes find out that you have to refine a search. Right click, go to search. You'll see your search criteria is still there, Carlson M. But instead of uh, M, let's type in MA. That will eliminate Morton Carlson and hopefully get us just Magnus Carlson's games. And sure enough, if we single click on the first game in the list, we have Magnus Carlson. We have a board here. We can actually play through these games. You see the, the game header and the notation in the lower left hand pane. We have a board. If you use the cursor keys on the keyboard, you can play through the game right on the screen. However, if you'd rather use the mouse, right click on the board, go to board design, you'll see a section down here that says replay arrows below board, pick either buttons or slider, your choice, click OK, and now you have VCR buttons under the board, well for those of us old enough to remember what a VCR is, you can play forwards and backwards through the game using the right and left arrows, the arrows on the ends, go to the end, or the beginning of the game. You can jump right to the end of the beginning. If the board isn't big enough, you can grab the border of the notation pane and drag downward, make that board a little bit bigger. If you want a bigger board yet, you can double click on the game over here in the right hand pane, double click on it, and open it up in a new board window. Once again, you can click on right click on the board, select board design, go to replay hours below board, click buttons, and now you have arrows underneath the board you can use to play through the game. It's that simple. There's other ways to refine your player searches. If you right click and go to search, 
if you want just the games of a particular color, in this case, let's say we want Magnus's games as white, we uncheck ignore colors. If you uncheck that, the box that you type the name in, white or black, does make a difference. So make sure if you want to search for his games as black, you type his name in the black blanks down here. We want his games as white, so we'll uncheck ignore colors, click OK, and when the search is done, look here, white, and in the white column, every game is M. Carlson. You can refine the search still further. If you'd like, for example, nothing but Magnus's wins, you can check wins only. It will give you all of his white games where he won. Let's click OK. And when the search result comes up, you'll notice M. Carlson in the white column. And over here in the result column, every one says 1-0, meaning they're white wins. There are no draws here or black wins. Another thing you can do, let's right click, go to search, uncheck wins only. Let's say you want all of his draws in which he's playing the white pieces. One half, one half down here in the result box. Click OK. And notice here, nothing but M. Carlson in the white box. And over here, you have draws. One half, one half. That's your basic bare bones search using the search mask in Chessbase 11. Once again, right click on the database you wish, you wish to search, click search, and you just type player name up here. Remember the ignore colors and wins only boxes as well as the result boxes help you refine that search to a particular player playing a particular color with a particular result. Just with that you can do a ton of searches in Chessbase and find all kinds of information. We'll be back with more videos at another time to show you more functions in Chess Base 11. Until then, I'm Steve Lopez for US Chess. Thanks for watching.